Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official, Miss Jamaica. Yeah, Madel, walk on with you. Man, we got a special guest today, y'all. Y'all know I call them all special because they are special. Exactly. So, yeah, man. You know, um, man, you know, this guy right here, man, when I think about the music in the city, man, um, that boogie music, man, that dance, that dance phase and all that, man. Patriarchs, ones who who really paved the way for a lot of people and I hope like hell they're giving them his homage, <laughs> man. Check it out, man. Fat Pimp is in the building. Hey. Hey, man. We, hey, good to have you, man. You got to announce me as the future mayor of Dallas. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I told somebody that the other day, man, I'd love to run for the mayor of Dallas one day. Why not? I mean, ain't Scarface yeah. doing something like that down in Houston? Yeah, they didn't really support him like they should. But that's I, all right. I think I can get to the people, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. my goal at the end of the day. Is, so yeah. you really thinking about politics? I, I'm, I'm dead serious. Really? I'm dead serious, man. Wow, man. I that's just, deep. We ain't, like when, we, when you go to uh, most cities in Texas, they don't really got a mayor that represents the people. You know, you mm -hmm. go to Atlanta. It looked like it looked like Atlanta. You yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to look at like people Atlanta. that look like you. Yeah, I want I want to be like Houston. Houston got a black mayor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon yeah. as he got in the office, he was trying to create black banks. It, mm, I heard about that. Fat pimp, man. Just yeah. tell us a little you bit. You know what the funny thing I didn't I, mean oh, to. Well, go to, ahead. That reminded me whenever he said that because you watch his movie all the time. Back to the Future, that yeah. part where that guy said he mayor. was going to be the mayor. Black, the black man. Yeah, the black man. <laughs> mayor. That's what that yeah, reminded he was me the of. He yeah. said, yeah. black yeah. male, that'll be the day. He, yeah. He said, yeah, and he was, and, he said, it happened too. He said, yeah. you'll see. I'm going to clean up this town. He said, start off by cleaning up this town. Right. <laughs> That's what that reminded me yeah, of. Yeah, man. You know, definitely, man. Uh, I just want to get into a little bit of, uh, I know you're from Dallas. Yeah. But just give us a little bit of where you're from, kind of the, what part of Dallas, and so, just, you know, for the people who might not know and listen to this podcast. 75237, Redbird, okay. Camp Wisdom, Cocker Hill. Okay. Make Redbird great again. It's looking mm -hmm. good over there a little yeah, bit Yeah, yeah, right I see. Now. They got a little new footlock yeah, or something yeah, going yeah, on. It's, 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 they, it's, I, I, I don't know the people that um that bought the area up, but they rebuilding over there. It feels, feels good, good when I ride through. Um, hopefully, we get some grocery stores over there soon. Right. Uh, graduated from Duncanville High School. Went to TSU down in H Town. Uh, wow! Got, got a record deal while I was in college. <laughs> How was, old were you? About uh, 18, 19? 21, I want to think. Twenty one. Okay. Maybe I don't even remember. I was young, young. I just remember being in class and uh, one of my songs was on somebody's ringtone. Oh yeah, that was that yeah. was that was. How heavy. did that Man. make you feel? Um, when I first heard it, I kind of looked. Then I heard it again, and I was like, "Man, school ain't for me, man. I gotta get up out of here, man." <laughs> but did you finish? Man, don't laugh, man. I, I got probably like twenty six credits left to graduate from TSU. Go get it, man. The only reason I didn't go back is because I was. It was like it was TSU was going through a transition with the president. A lot of the credits weren't transferring over, and it kind of discouraged me, man. I get mm -hmm. it. Then when I moved back to Dallas, I tried to get into SMU because mm -hmm. I was like, man, I, I should try to like pull off like a reality show by going to SMU. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I got a, I'm creative. I got a lot of thoughts that go through my head on what I want to do, but. So don't, sit don't, don't sit on it. Don't sit on it. No, yeah. you got to make it. Because you don't ever want to look back on life and be like, man, I wonder what would have happened if i done yeah. this. I want to graduate, though. That's Me on my too. bucket list to go ahead and get them last credits in. Me Not even because I want a job and all like that. It's just that it's an accomplishment that I need. I need that piece of paper. You're going to do it. You know, I have faith, man. I know the main thing, too, once you start having kids, but you mm -hmm. do have a kid, you want to show your kids that anything I start, I finish. Because right. you don't want your kids to come up and do the same thing, start things and not finish. There's so right. many people out there who start and go to school for all these different things and right. quit and move on to something else and keep going to something else. You have to show people how to finish. Wow. Yeah. That's good. That's good. So coming up, mm -hmm. you over there. You know, in Oak Cliff, back when they were stealing all them cars. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? It, it was back in the day. Back right. in the day, in Oak Cliff, they had a reputation. Right. It, it soon got better in, in some areas, like right. like of things that we do. Times change, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, back in the, you remember the time when people were jacking? It's, people would jack you, like, back in, no, 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 hardcore. Yeah, with the you know, the, yeah, 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 nigga gonna stop you at the light. You I, know what I, I'm saying? I, I, I got hemmed up one day because, um, Man, it was like Martin Luther King Day, so we was out of school. Yeah. And all we was doing was getting out the car. And everybody we knew, we seen we got out the car without knowing and start banging on their windows. 
But like the third call we went to, as soon as we got ready to get back to the car, we seen Dallas police had the guns drawn on us. Wow. You know what I mean? They didn't have like the big guns yet. They still yeah. had the handguns. Yeah. And man, we had to lay it down on Camp Wisdom. Man. Wow. So man. Got a true story. So like the next day when I got to school, everybody was like, man, you went to jail? I was like, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. They took me to jail. I was lying. But you know. What, what was the, uh, what's that place right there across from, uh, right across from the mall counter where they play pool at? Uh, Great Daddy. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. the that's the and is that yeah. that what inspired the, the that's song? That's where it came from. Rest in peace, Andre Emmett. He had uh just got drafted. See, I, it makes yeah. sense yeah. now because I seen yeah. you that 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 was that was yeah. one of your biggest songs. Yeah, if you're not it, the um, biggest, I'm gonna tell you what happened. I came home from college one uh, one weekend, and Andre had just signed um, to the NBA, and um, they were just out there dancing. I just was like, "Yo, what y'all call it?" You know, because I didn't know I was in school, I ain't had no da- no name for it. So I was like. I'm going to call that Rag Daddy. Went back, made the beat, and then dropped the song. And it took about a year and a half for it to just really pop. Mm-hmm. That thing popped, though. Yeah, yeah. And what was, what, was, what was so good about it was we had a record out here called I'm Getting Money at the same time. So it was two songs popping at, on a billboard chart at the same time. It had wow. never been done before in the music industry. So how was, how, how you know, you seen the phase where it was uh, the Frankie and all these yeah. dances, man. Yeah. Was Rag Daddy before all of those? Rag Daddy was the first of his kind. Okay, you know, so it was the first yeah, one. I, it was nothing before that. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to be real with you just to keep it all the way funky. It was uh, my Dougie, uh, Check Out My Lean. Lil' Will. Lil' Will and uh, Lil' Shine. Lil' Shine, yeah. Shout out to Lil' Shine. Best for less. He's from the cliff, too. Yeah. Um, that was it. Oh, and Trap Stars. Take that back. I got to give shout out to Trap Stars. It was it was them four songs that was out. That was it. And, and, and you basically... Well, you knew what you were doing. Were you a, were you focused and keen on the fact of what was going on with the dance music? It or, wasn't even. It or was, you were just having a good even, time. It wasn't even. See the thing. It wasn't. A, it wasn't a dance movement. It was just what we come up on. Okay. Dallas, the Dallas I grew up on, all the you know, so all the gangsters could dance and they was boogie. You know, they they boogie all night and then shoot it up outside. Yeah. You know, I come from the, my generation was Highland Hills, and uh, everybody from Pleasant Grove they, they had linked up. You know, it was Highland Hills 350. That's what it was. Highland Hills 350. Yeah, I know. Like, I know about them boys. Yeah, and like no cap, man. When you was in the club, if you didn't have no affiliations, you had to get out the way. And so when you see that, that's in your music. Yeah, you dig what I'm saying? Yeah. That's in your music. Uh, we had our own little click on our side, YG, and we would hit the club 50, 50 deep every time. Wow. So when we go to the club. We asking the DJ to play that song, and you trying to tell us no. When you looking in the crowd. You like, um, let me go and drop this record. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Saying? So. When I made the music, I didn't really care about no dance music. It was just really just like I'm gonna make music that my neighborhood and my friends gonna enjoy when they put it in their car. Yeah, because yeah. at the time I was like, there was no representation, you know, yeah. for my for my circle of people. That's something you said I, I, on one of the other platforms about the people coming, taking, stealing, yeah. stealing the style. You right. really, you still feel that way? Yeah, I still <clears throat> to, to this day. I don't care what you, I don't care what you show me in the industry. I show you somebody in Dallas who did it. I wow, care, I don't care what it is. I can show in somebody. Dallas, yeah, just because we want we're a consumer city, which means that these big artists come out here, they get paid, they soak it up. And they I agree. Live. All the major artists get money. I apply so this was his number one artist, a number one uh, area. Area, I can I could believe it. I definitely believe. But we don't support our own. You dig what I'm saying? Well, man, I, I can't agree with you, Fat Pimp. Man, it's a, it's Cause I, I just I just see you, man, and I remember the movement. But you gotta understand, Dallas. And, Dallas wasn't my supporter. Yeah, Houston was. Yeah, you rocked the hard role, with Houston. The road went platinum. Dallas was not his number one. California, market. Yellow Bees. Is not, Dallas is not his number one market. Mo three. Dallas is not his number one market. You okay. can pull. You can pull these charts up to this day. And it's still Dallas has never been nobody's number one market. But is that the same for everyone, no matter what city they're, they're from? from? Because normally you always hear that they don't find homage who, in their who, own who do city. Dallas, who do Dallas from? fully support in a way you could say they sprung? They, Nobody. They launched their career. That is ain't, uh, I mean, you could say like maybe DSR back in the day. Big That's Chief. a good one. DSR, Big Chief. But once these artists start getting these major deals, people start trying to uh, take away that take away that support. They don't want to support. Nah, they don't want to support because what happens, it goes from love to, man, it should have been me. Well, I don't know. Um, Mr. Pookie came on the show and he said that Dallas – he was. supported them but see that was the begin that was the be- he was that like i said that was he the was beginning. The, that was the beginning With, like we, dsr yeah that was that's mm-hmm. the, that's all the same era mr pookie lucci uh gator man i won't forget him yeah shout out to gator um, man that's my twisted dude, black 
I gotta I get an older Gator, man. man. I, I rock with that nigga, man. Yeah, Gator's, Gator's somebody. He, he, did, I, he I done flipped him. out. I don't know. We used to be out together, yeah. you know. Like, Where's he at? I don't know, but uh, Lodizzi said he could get him for me. Okay, Lodizzi's so, somebody who's solid, too. He's been around for a long he time. He was just on the show. Yeah, Lodizzi. Yeah, man. I, I got I'm, a great I'm, relationship with Lodizzi. I've been knowing Lodizzi. 20, uh, 20 some years too. Yeah, y'all yeah. all, y'all all, I, I like that, man. The respect that I see that y'all have for one another. There's a lot of ways. Yeah. A lot of people show the bad, bad parts of the city, mm -hmm. but it's some stomp down dudes like Fat Pimp and yeah. like like uh, Low D's and all these different brothers who come together, man. And 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 I say it, you know, Fat Beasy, like like yeah. all these brothers that come together yeah. when they see each other is love. You right. know what I'm saying? I know it's going on, and that's right. the part I applaud. Yeah. Like a lot of niggas be talking. Like I hear a lot of people who interview people. And say a lot of things man be trying to figure out ways to make it like it's not solid but you got some solid individuals like you man i want to thank you for there's that. a lot of people in dallas who secretly uh help other people out yeah yeah i know Duro talked about him i him and mo3 linked when when he right. came into the game right. and it's like i like that man because i know it's happening but it's, it's you know the devil don't want to see us shine like that man. but it, it's happening man I, I know it happens and i'm gonna tell you what i do I feel like it's not cool to support somebody just behind the scenes. Yeah. Because we live in a social media driven era. I like that. It's okay to see somebody doing their thing and shout them out. Yeah. I learned that. I learned that nowadays. When I see Yellow drop something, I, sh I shout, shout them out. out. Uh, I don't care who it is. It don't matter what neighborhood they from. Rainwater used to always get mad at me about uh, saying I only rock with Oak Cliff niggas. I said, but that ain't true. You dig know what yeah. I'm saying? It's yeah. just that it seems like that. And that was like a wake up call for me that maybe I'm not supporting. Fort Worth like I should or Arlington like I should. Yeah, yeah. You got to rock with everybody, man. man you, but I but, think it but takes time, though, because just like um, I remember when internet became a thing, right. social media became a thing, and I remember for myself personally trying to adjust to social media and people posting. People weren't posting as much as they are now, but they were posting, and if you posted too much, people look at you like, you're too much. Why are you doing right. it so much? So it, it was a case where, like, Okay, I can't post that much. I post once every blue moon. Now, if you post like that, you're irrelevant. You have right. to post every day, this, twice a day. I forgot what that word is. Algorithms and all yeah, that stuff. It got to right. be on people. Be, so, yeah, it got to be an so algorithm. So it became a trend. It became right. the new normal. Right. So I see where now more people are supporting others. More people right. are shouting them out, putting them on their stories. It's becoming a thing. So I think you're gonna have a lot more people doing it because it's become the new normal right. to do that, and that's really what you gotta lead by example nowadays. Yeah, you can't be afraid to to support. Yeah, I, I agree with that a hundred percent, man. You um, like I said, you come up in an era where was the competition. I know you and Deronium came up nah, around man, the same time. Was, I had no competition, man. Not, not to be what, when when Dero around the nah, same time, I, man. I, yeah, next time y'all talk to Ro, ask him who got him <laughs> on the radio in Houston. I didn't, I, really? didn't, I didn't have no competition because let me be clear. I was going to school in Houston. Houston was not rocking with Dallas, period. I know it, and yeah, I seen that, that, that in your problem, music, man. too. They I seen they was rocking yeah, with you. People mm -hmm. got to understand something. The reason why the reason why I moved the way I moved is because I developed respect in every city I went to. Yeah. East Texas, Houston, you know, San Antonio. I lived down in San Antonio. You lived like, in San Antonio? Yeah, you like, like it down there? It, it's, it's chill, man. It's chill, it's man. It's a drop stayed, down under yeah, Austin, huh? I stayed, I, I stayed in San Antonio for about four to five months. I had a chick I was dealing with. Okay, I, I okay. Went, camped out. But I learned the city. Mm -hmm. and when, you, when you learn the city, you learn the the, the, the tastemakers. You learn who, who I need to have a relationship with. There ain't a city in Texas, Louisiana, I can't go to and get on the phone with somebody if I'm in the city. Yeah, I said and that. Yeah, and that I, comes, I like that. And that well, comes from what I say about um, when I said I had no competition, it was because I didn't worry about what somebody else was doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I knew nobody was doing what I was doing. Okay. And these, these are facts you can Google. Two songs with the billboard at the same time. So when I got to the labels, they're trying to say, hey, we only put you one song at a time. I'm like, nah, that's BS. Mm -hmm. Two at the same time. You dig what I'm saying? I made it cool for Dallas Arts to go to uh, come to Houston and do shows. Wow. When they was folding their arms up, I was the one telling them, hey, man, unfold your arms. We're going to party tonight. When you come from, you know, something mm -hmm. to be sitting yeah. hating and stuff. Mm -hmm. Ask anybody that came up after me. Yeah. The B-Hamps, the GS Boys. Uh, ask Trap Stars when that's, they came here. Yes, yeah. boys here. Uh, Cottonmouth. Uh, old boy Cottonmouth. Friend. Mm -hmm. Cottonmouth. Mm -hmm. Ask Cottonmouth. When Cottonmouth tell you, it's, 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 it's certified. Yeah, yeah. Ask Cottonmouth. I got to get Cottonmouth. I mean, Pookie, a bunch of people say you got to get Cottonmouth on the show. Man, say. They say he got he know a lot, man. He going to know more Shout than out to Cottonmouth, know. man. Cottonmouth uh, shouted me out at uh, Mr. Lucci's uh, listening party. Okay. And told a story about the first time he came to Houston. Wow. Seen me and Galveston actually performing. Wow. He seen the crowd control. And that's, that's another nice. reason I said I don't worry about 
what somebody else is doing because I know what I bring to the table. Yeah, I like it. Is that. music different? All, you know how if you go to Atlanta, the music is different from Texas or from mm-hmm. Dallas. Is the music different? Each different places in da- in in Texas. So yeah. like Houston, Houston yeah. music is to it me, different he, from he could answer San Antonio? Is I it different so. from Dallas? Is it Normally different? Not to you. No. Maybe like five years ago, you could tell where somebody was from. I think now with the internet, you don't know where nobody from. I think at one point in time, you it sounded like Dallas music. At one point in time, it sounded like Houston. San Antonio was kind of acting like Houston. Uh, I remember one point in time, a lot of artists in East Texas. It was kind of split, you know. A lot of it was more over Houston, and, some over and then now it starts sounding like but Dallas. But you, you was able to mix and mingle back then. Because at the end of the day, you I can don't do care. both. Yeah, I don't care about where you think I'm from. At the end of the day, I lived in a lot of cities. Yeah. Because I realized once you leave out of Texas, the only thing that matters is if the music's jamming or not. But yeah. The, but to answer your question, I don't think, I don't think Texas really has a sound no more. I think these youngsters are like, man, I'm gonna do what I want to do. They flipping mm-hmm. out any way yeah, they look, want look, to. Look, one of the most popular artists right now is this dude named Don Tolliver. Okay. He's out of Houston, but he lives in LA. I think I seen, yeah, I looked at yeah, him. Man, look him up. I did, bro. I did. Travis Scott. Do he sound like A Sound? No. No. Okay, look at Meg Stay. Meg Stay. Oh, yeah, she doesn't sound Man, we like talked that. about this. She's the first female uh, mm-hmm. rapper to make it from Texas. Mm hmm. That messed me up. Come on, man. Because we never thought about it. She opened the doors open. Yeah. The Rowan else was talking about that when he was here. Mm-hmm. It's facts, man. Yeah. It's a lot, there's a lot of females from Houston that was rapping that did their thing. But you not know, like her. Not like it's nobody like Meg the Stallion, man. She's nobody. up there with the greats already. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Shout out to Meg the Stallion. Yeah, she's doing her thing. And and, and yeah. shout out to Erica Banks coming in hey, slowly from but North show. Dallas, right? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Coming in slowly hey, but show. Shout out to Erica. I just did a show with her. We we did the Toyota Center in Houston and um Man, to see her come from where she came from yeah. to how she performed yeah. now, she got dancers and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man. Sergeant J, shout out, shout out, Sergeant J. And you J. can see yeah. the improvement too, ah, of, because one thing, performing, people don't understand. Being a rapper is cool, mm. but you have to know how to work at stage. Yes, yeah, because got it. I realized, I think it was LL Cool J that I watched one year. But you got mad at Chameleon there. Yeah, because he doesn't. He didn't work the stage back then. He did <laughs> yeah. not she, work she the stage back see then. Her, we was on the side. I remember but that. LL, yeah. oh my God, he go, he jumped. Oh, he jumped on know, the speakers you know, and has, all that. That nigga got that energy, energy man. Yeah. He would jump, I, not even walk, he jumped from one I think one you like because the nigga had his shirt off. I tell you, quit looking at that nigga. Hush. And then, but Chameleon there, he goes stay on one side. And I'm like, what's up with over here? You need to come over here. Everybody don't have showmanship. Mm-mm. Yeah, yeah. That's the reason why a lot of people stay booked. You look at them, um, them old school uh, R and B artists. A lot of them stay booked, like you know, like uh, Charlie Wilson. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They stay booked because I they, love they me work some Sir Charlie Charles Jones. Shout out to my boy yeah. Sir Charles. He been yeah, on here for real. Yeah, 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 I rock I with him. I talked to him man. yesterday. Mm-hmm. You, yeah, yeah that's that my that boy, dude, man. Man, hey, the boy and the boy serious, yeah. and the boy He's got a whole movement. Yeah, real laid back, love to cook. We went over there with that boy. I did, I did two shows with him, but I didn't get a chance to talk to him. I'm gonna link it up. Every matter of fact, he gonna be in Waco next week with me. I'm gonna link it up. I'm gonna link it up. I want to go with him. Man, I want to redo this Dallas song he had like back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. song was that? It's called Dallas, Dallas. Oh, Dallas, Dallas. Wow. Okay. They did it at the Cliff Club. Wow. Uh, years wow. ago, man. I always when I when I watched it, I was like, damn. And the Cliff Club it? closed. Yeah, it's it finally closed. Yeah. But that R. thing R. went a long time, R. baby. R. P. Man, RP mm-hmm. to the Cliff Club, man. Still, yeah, still yeah. drinks. So Who what? gave you the name <clears throat> Fat Pimp? Uh, I was in ninth grade. Uh, shout out to April Ballard. We was in class, and uh, I in was ninth beat, grade, and yeah, they gave you grade. that name. Yeah, because I was beating on the table. Actually, it was tenth grade. I don't want to lie. Tenth grade. I'm beating on the table, and one of the girls at the pencil sharpener, and I just turned to him and start freestyling the bottle or whatever, you know, just trying to mack her down. The class was kind of looking at me, and my hunger April was just like, damn, what you think? You a fat pimp or something? <laughs> and everybody see, see the response? See, it worked every time. It's like when they got the response, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to run with that. Because the first time when yeah. I heard it, I'm like, okay, is yeah. it really what it says? Was nah. he really a pimp? But you know what's crazy? I did an interview with uh, Sway in uh, New York. And uh, I never forget this for the rest of my life. You know, we in New York. This is the this is the beginning of the the uh, sex trafficking started. You mm-hmm. know, where it became a big deal. Mm-hmm. And Sway was 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 interviewing me. It was uh, Debbie Dale. Shout out to her. She was in, uh, moved from Houston. And they said, "Man, have you ever pimped a girl before?" Now, me having no training on uh, radio, media, anything. First thing I said was like, "Hell yeah!" You know, like who ain't you know what I'm saying? Who ain't never pimped no girl before? Because mm-hmm. in my head, I'm thinking You're not Texas. Thinking, yeah. Right, I'm thinking Texas. Like I always didn't finesse the girl. Like little Bobby something. That's the way how we talk. That's is how different. we talk. Mm-hmm. But when I said it, 
Sway was just like, so you cool with like if your daughter was sex trafficked? I'm like, I'm looking at him like, what is he talking about? Cause yeah, we from Texas. We yeah, you talking about finesse? We don't know that. And so he was just like, yeah, man, sex trafficking is bad in California, New York. Have, you know, he's explaining it. So I had to be quick on my toes. I was like, well, hold on, Sway. I said, um, I was gonna call myself old dirty bastard, but somebody stole my name. You know what I mean? I tried to like change the subject. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when we got off the air, I had to explain to him like, yo, like. I don't know nothing about no sex trafficking. He kind of gave me some game, telling me how bad it was, and then mm-hmm. as, as the years progressed, I'm starting. Oh wow, this is a this is a big deal. So it yeah. is, and I didn't realize how till um, I don't remember who was telling me about it, and I'd never thought about people doing it in this way. But this girl and her friend, they met a guy on social media, whatever, mm-hmm. and they you know been talking for a while, called themselves boyfriend girlfriend. So she right. left Texas and went up to L.A. or somewhere to hang out with him, whatever. And he tried to throw them in a, a van to traffic them. Right. And they had to fight him off and leave. Right. And I'm like, so people are meeting people on social media and think, and hooking up, going out of town. Right. And something something like, I don't think about sex, people capturing people like that. I'm thinking about, you know, you walking on the street and they pull up and it's, you know, kidnap right. you, whatever. But to actually meet people on social media and then finesse them and then do it like that. It's a, it's a, it's a, um, it's a sensitive subject because I got into acting in 2014, and I was on the set of a movie, I want to say 2019 maybe. A lady from, um, I, don't, I can't remember what major city she's from, but she called and interviewed me. And she was like, is there anything you want to tell the people? I said, well, you know, I'm thinking about dropping a pimp from my name. And so she was asking me why. I said, well, because I met a lot of these high schools and these elementary schools, and I kind of want to give a different type of image, you know what I mean? I said, I don't know what my name is going to be just yet, but I'm thinking about, you know, dropping the pimp. You know, this woman started crying on the phone. Wow. Mm-mm. White lady. Never met a day in my life. She, she like, said, I'm going to stop she recording. She didn't want you She to. said, no. She said, I've been trafficked since I was 16. Wow. She says, when I hear the word pimp, she said, it, it, she cringes. But she was just telling me. And we, we got a great relationship now. She was just saying that I was scared to interview just because I hate that word so much. Wow. And so I've, I've, I've dealt with uh, positive and negative. I had a lot of negative uh, around 2013 when I was trying to get a lot of endorsement deals mm-hmm. because it would be a person who would present me and then it would be the person that said, nah, we're not gonna endorse a guy named Fat Pimp. Even though I'm a family man, I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm active in my community, I do so much for the kids. And sometimes that name could be a, uh, could be a gift and a curse. It's a gift because right. it's, it's easy to remember, but it's a curse because you miss a lot of financials. Couldn't you change that? Um, well, you didn't change the name, but couldn't you use that pimp as an acronym and make it up the P I M P as tried something to. else? I tried to do, you know, people in the making progress, but mm-hmm. um, I it even tried. Work. Even last year, I dropped a single just uh, using F A T. It just it does not. Because everybody it, knows it, you as right. fat. So pimp. what I try to do is when I do interviews, I just try to talk educated, and I just try to keep it all the way one hundred. Right. You, you got a good heart, fat yeah. pimp. I like that. It's yeah, because man. I've been through. I've been through a lot. And I come from good, you know, some good background. Yeah. So that's the reason why uh, when I get in interviews, I kind of just try to keep it honest and yeah. just be transparent. I feel like once people get to know me, they'll be like, okay, this is. Come on, man. I yeah. already know it's about the music. I'm yeah. from, I, listen, yeah. man, I'm from that era, man. Yeah, man. It's just I know music, already, man. man, you're a good dude, man. I don't yeah. even go by all that, but I understand it's sensitive, right. but I know where we come from in right. Texas. One of your songs you had, my boy Pimp C starting that song out. What the hell was that? Wait a minute. It was a, it, he was talking on it. Uh, let me think. Let me get to it. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, uh, ain't uh, loyal, ain't, ain't Lil loyal, yeah. Lil Ronnie, uh, 2019. Yeah, man, one of my favorite artists man, of all time. Listen, man. man, pimp, quit it. Yeah, one of my favorite. Come on, man, all give all it up, time, baby. Man. We, hey, hey, did you my, hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear, did you hear, did you hear that? Mm-hmm. What yeah. did he say? Come on, man. Who is this? Who is his favorite artist? I don't hear I love Give it to me, baby. Give it to me. That's man. my nigga. Hey. Look, nigga. Wait a minute. The show just you got, got story, started. You got a story about that? Nah, no, I just, uh, I, I just, yeah. I love that nigga, man. Yeah. And, and, and listen, man. No, I know. I know. Listen, man. <laughs> don't do that. I love Pimp C. You, man. He is a hundred percent supporter. I'm dying. He, he's I'm the same dialed. as me. UGK for life. We're not trying to hear it, man. It's yeah. all love, man. Just, it's okay to be from other places, but man, ain't nothing like some Bomb B and Pimp C in Texas. And, and, and just just riding and listen to a three in the morning. You know what I'm talking about? Riding dirty. Yeah, my fiance yeah from man. LA, Stop playing, man. My, my fiance from LA, she don't get it. See, the, she don't my get my it. wife from Jamaica. Yeah, she don't get it. The official Miss Jamaica, yeah. she don't get she don't it. Get it. No. Look, I, man, I love Pimp C. It wasn't even just about the music, it was just him as a person. He was authentic as they come. Man, just raw. 
Pimpsey got out of jail. I was working at the airport in Houston, throwing bags. And I was on the smile plane, so we weren't allowed to take the bags to the uh, to the uh, people getting off the plane. Yeah. Pimp, Pimp C hopped off the plane. I'm just staring at him. And uh, he was just like, uh, he was like, say, man, you know what I'm talking about? How I get on the bus? He, you know, he take me like, cuz you on the phone. I said, Pimp, man, no lie, bro. You my idol, bro. I said, you like one of my favorite artists. He was like, oh, yeah, did you buy the new CD? I said, well, I got the double disc in the car. What's your favorite song? I said, cocaine, cocaine. Yeah, and he was like, he said, hey, let me call you back. So he was like, man, you got an old soul, man. Where you from? I told him. He said, man, take my number down, man. Come to the club with me tonight. Now, I'm thinking like, yeah, what up, nigga? You know what I'm saying? So got his number. He said, can you get my bag? I went and got his bag for him. Gave it to him. He said, call me. I said, all right, whatever. Got home, took a shower. I said, all right, let me try this. I called him. He said, "Hey man, he got my manager number. Let me know when you. He'll let him know when you're in the door. He gonna take care of it." So I'm like, "All right, it's Houston. Stop playing." Houston, Houston one of them cities. No, no, let him finish. I want to hear it. And then so look, I got to the club. I went by myself because I wanted to make sure I got in there. Mm -hmm. Called the manager. Manager was like, "Yeah, outside." I'm like, "Yeah, I'm here." He said, "Give me five minutes." Five minutes showed up. Boom. He brought me in to the VIP. We kicked it with the pimp. Damn. Wow. No cell phone. Not nothing. Check it, man. That's something to get real like, excited I about, love, nigga. Like, and for me, when he when he passed, I was so hurt. I'm hurt because he a Capricorn too. We like yeah. We're we a uh, day apart. Yeah. And it's just like, man, for me, it hurt because I always wanted to do like a song with him. I didn't care if it was a. Uh, a oh, that would have been a banger, man. man. I love Pimp C, man. Man, stop, man. You I see love that? Bun too. You I see love that? Bun, too, Bun is straight. I, Bun and me. Yeah. I met Bun. I never yeah. got to meet Pimp, so I'm man, jealous. Man, Pimp the realest, man. I mean, me and Bun, I met a few times, but he but, heard a lot of stories from his Leo. Man, when he's, he's a Leo okay. Kane. That's why he was yeah. here, nigga. I was like, he gotta yeah. come. But I met him in the parking lot yeah. selling his t-shirt. Bun, Bun is like everybody uncle, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 Bun yeah. He's a solid dude, man. His kids like this, man. Solid dude, man. You know the thing I can say, man, is you. Hey man, you you should always harness that man, and and I love the way y'all started the song. It's just something about how he he embraced Texas for me. Right. He embraced the South, you know. Right. He made it to where it was okay to talk like we talk. It was okay to hang out like we hang out. We felt proud of that. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing about Pimp C that sticks out for me. Yeah. And, and I was I you know I'm older than him, right. so at the end of the day. When I would, me and him would, uh, I mean, when I would listen to the music, the first cassette I got, you know, right. it was it was on and popping, you know, on and popping. Yeah, I got UGK in my heart for the rest of my life. <laughs> I don't give a damn, and I'm just one of the people. I like the music out right now, but if then a week then don't go by that I don't listen to something by UGK. We in Texas, man. Got you, ain't man. nothing wrong with that. Come on, man. I, I you love, ain't a it. damn thing wrong I with love, that, I man. I love all H-Town music, man, but I love me some UGK, man. UGK, man. Just, it's just something about them, man, mm -hmm. and the way they they cadences would match up together and all yeah. that, everything, man. So, but, hey, man, Pimp C for life, man. UGK yeah. for life, man. Yeah. Said it in that Yeah, man. man. Thank you, love. You know, I, I just, you know, I, when I think about you, man, you and Lil yeah. Runny on that song, he was a homeless man on one of them songs. Oh, yeah, Moves to Make. We moves shot, to Make. We moves to Make. He was homeless, yeah. We wrote Y'all shot in Atlanta? Yeah, we wrote that treatment, too. Man, you know, he's something else and you something else, you know, to be creative. And I see what y'all put into them, right. that video. I know that wasn't easy to do. Nah. Everybody take the easy way out. And, you, you know, they do one scene, two scenes. You guys approach. work, man. Yeah. Man, you got to understand, me and Ronnie creators, man. So it's like we were on the road together, and Ronnie did a, uh, I forgot what video it was. It might have been Circle. Yeah. And I was like, bro, I got, I got to top it. I got to top it. So then he did this video for Up in the Air, and I still was like, damn. I tried a video after that. It didn't hit his hard. I said, I got your ass on this one. <laughs> I like so, man, it, man. We, we, on, we knew we had to go to Atlanta in a week. We came up to treatment. We sent it to my boy Roger out there in Atlanta, and uh, we made it happen. Man, I just love y'all. Three-day shoot. Y'all, Kim, y'all, y'all, three, three days? Three days, man. How long does a shoot normally take? It, yeah, you do it in a one. Half pint? Ow. Shout out to half pint, man. Half pint yeah, is something hour. else, too, nah, man. man. Not with me and Ronnie, man. It, it, it ain't no limit because we perfectionists. Yeah, yeah. Perfectionists got to look right. Yeah, we I seen. Three yeah, I, I could tell y'all put no a lot haircut, into it. No haircut, no nothing. <laughs> just, just working. Yeah. And man. you said you've been, um, you were acting yeah, also. Yeah. You could so tell that video. Did yeah. you go to classes for acting? Um, no, but I had um, the last the last film I did is coming out it's called Low Key. We had a table reading. This was the first time I was around real thespians. You know what I mean? They were like coaching me because I never had nobody coach me. Everything has always been uh, improv off the head. Yeah. And that's how I always was able to win people over to mm -hmm. get some roles. But this was the first time I had to sit down and get wow. get some get some uh, guidance. Mm -hmm. Cause I know they interview yeah. you and try to interview different yeah. people to see who fit the roles best. Yeah, you got to go and uh, audition. Audition. You, audition. Audition. you, gotta, audition. you, you have gotta to audition. Have head shot, gotta have headshots. Yeah. You know, um, one of my favorite TV shows is Law and Order. 
Okay. You know, I I would love to be like on that yeah. show. Like just as a, Yeah, you gotta be studying to be on that man, show. Man, I ain't tripping. Man. He can like, get in at a small part first. No, no, you don't no, even you have gotta to be. study. You know man. how hard them words is man, they I'm be not, saying. I'm not tripping, bro. Like <laughs> I, I, let me tell y'all something. Two things I don't play with is uh them scripts and when it's showtime. Okay. You know what I mean? Like because Serious. When, when you with them scripts and you dealing with real actors and actresses, you have to you gotta be on point. Which mm-hmm. one's harder, being on? <laughs> Performing ain't nothing because I've been doing that my whole life. But I know. acting is hard because your face is like your face is a, uh, is a character, mm-hmm. and you might do an ugly uh, facial gesture, and they might be like cut, cut, don't do that, and you, and you don't realize you're doing it until you, you get because it's a habit. Yeah, I always I, wondered about I laugh acting. Too much. I, <laughs> wow. I laugh too, oh my god, I laugh too much. You, uh, I know you. Oh sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I know it, you said earlier that um, you've been through a lot. Right. And we use our platform to help and educate other people. Right. If you don't mind, tell me something that you've been through. Could be the worst thing that you've been through. Could be something that that you could just never forget, and how you overcame it. Yeah, that's so good that question. that can help someone who is listening, and they might be going through the same thing. Addiction. Okay. I had a real bad drug problem, man. I was addicted to the mixed pills, man. Okay. I heard that song. Yeah. I was gonna ask you about man, that. that. It was. It was. I, I really, really had to. Um, How long were you addicted to it shit, for? From 05 to like 2000. <sighs> shit, maybe like 2010, 11. Wow. About five, six years, man. Yeah. I was and talk- why did you get into it? Like, what was the need for it? Um, rest in peace to one of my partners, man. I ain't going to say his name, man. That's fine. He up there with God chilling, man. But um, Did he OD? Nah, he didn't OD. He got killed, but he okay. introduced me to the he introduced me to the uh, to them pills, man. Um, I was just having a bad day having a real bad day. He was like, man, I got something to uh, turn you up. So, man, he gave me one. He was like, just take half. I'm like, nah, I'm going to take the whole thing. But I, I want to see what it's like. And it was like the greatest feeling i ever experienced in my life. And I was yeah. like, oh, my God, like this little thing? Man. So it went from that one time to um, a couple weeks later, a couple more weeks later, the next thing you know, I find out who had them. And it was like, I'm like, I'm doing these all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then Dallas went through a... a a point where everybody was on. That's right. That's right. It don't matter who's in the club. Everybody was on. You looking at somebody, you know they on. Mm-hmm. Just like people that do coke, you can look at somebody tell they on <laughs> coke, crystal meth, same thing. Weed smokers know each other. And um, and I had lost a lot of weight, man. I got real small. And um, it just so you got, were no longer fat pimp. Not really. <laughs> not really, man. It was bad. And um, it got to the point where I couldn't do shows without it, and I couldn't do nothing. I was just always on them. And then uh, one day I uh, I was in my condo in Houston. And nobody would answer the phone. It's like four in the morning. I'm just looking out at the city, rolling hard, and I looked in the mirror and seen some crazy shit. Yeah. Excuse my language, but it was just it just didn't it wasn't me. Mm-hmm. And I felt like God was talking to me. Yeah. Let me tell y'all what happened. So I told myself that day I wanna quit. I'm gonna go cold turkey. So the next few times that I tried to roll, they just didn't even work. Wow. And that's why I'm I'm a firm believer, like when God is trying to tell you something, mm-hmm. even if you ain't ready to listen, mm-hmm. if he wants you to sit you down and listen, I had to listen. And so Wow. And I got off them, and uh, my life changed, man, because your face started looking different, uh, your skin looked different, man. And then when I got off them, people said they seen a different person. Wow. And that's so crazy that yeah. you did that all by yourself. There's so many people who have to get help, who feel like I have to go to rehab, I have right. to do this. But you did this all by yourself. Yeah, well, you and God, because God yeah. always, yeah. Uh, nobody he's always, God. Right. It was, it he's always right by your side. It, it definitely was him because what I seen in the mirror if I tell people that, they think I'm tripping. I'm like, bro, yeah. I'm, I believe in spirits, bro. I believe in energy. I yeah. believe in what I seen was was God telling me, like, this is where you headed to. I wow. left it alone. Then I picked up the bottle. You know what I mean? You, sir? No, no, no. Yeah, no uh, alcohol. <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> okay, cool. I was on the, I was on alcohol real bad. Try, I guess trying to. Trying to cope from, cope that, from that. Coming off and of then that. Alcohol make your body change when you uh when you do it every day. Yeah. So then, same situation, man. The doctor told me one day he was like, "Man, if you don't stop, man, you gonna you gonna end up." Your sick. liver's gonna shut down. So I down. just I've learned to do things in you know, moderation. Alcohol. Mm-hmm. I don't do no drugs, man. I smoke though. I do smoke. Yeah. Well, but I'm I'm, a, I'm a, more of a um, when I'm having like a uh, I don't like to use the word anxiety, man. But sometimes yeah. I smoke to just calm, calm down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But do you do you when you when you had an opportunity to talk to these young people because mm-hmm. they look up to you, right? 
you take advantage of it in a way to where I you can share it to him. Because, you know, you got people like Future who I don't know if he even do drugs no more. I think he off of them. But, but, but they promote him a lot of times in these songs. And, and, and it's guys like you that, yeah. that really understand the, the underlying issues that will be able to help one of those guys. I had a person um, call me a hypocrite because they were like, well, you made a song about it. And I said, well, you know, I was 19, 20 exactly. when I did it. But I own it. And yeah. I tell people what comes from uh, popping pills. First of all, they man made. Mm -hmm. Just like nowadays, everybody on these perks and all these mm -hmm. different mm -hmm. uh, these medical drugs that people ain't making and they, they're not getting from the pharmacy, mm -hmm. which means you don't know what you're getting. People die over then, ODing on these fentanyls and all. That. I'm telling mm -hmm. people like, bro, man, like y'all gotta leave these drugs alone because you know why? You become impaired. I seen a lot of shit happen to people that's impaired. Man, you think about it when when COVID hit and you was on drugs and stuff. I always think about Gigi. I don't know if she, you know, I don't know what the whole deal was with yeah. that, but I, I think about about if, if this pandemic hadn't happened, she might still be here. I, I think about, I don't know if that sounds crazy, but I just know it put people in a different box that they had to wait and sit in that box to this thing would, you know, kind of pass by. You know, another thing is a lot of people need self-love too, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people are fighting um, depression, man. A lot of people take drugs to, to, to escape what they really, what the, what the thoughts that's going through their head. Yep. For sure. And we don't know one thing. God bless her soul. I don't really know what she was going through or what yeah. really happened. Cause, yeah. Uh, I got a lot of people that's close to me that was real close to her. Yeah. But uh, what I will just say is that, man, um, we're losing so many people, man, on these drugs, man. Yeah. And uh, I try to tell people, like, bro, there's other ways to, like, you know, to turn up. I'm not mm -hmm. saying. And I tell people, like, by all means, if that's what you want to do, cool. But mm -hmm. take it easy, man. Yeah. Take it easy, man. Because yeah. you don't know. That, that one pill could be that one. Yeah. So, so that yeah. song that you you said you did on um, <laughs> with the pills, yes. did you ever come back after you got off of your pills and so forth and make another song that tell people yeah, about nah. positive? Nah, because you know why? I think the I think the businessman in me was just kind of like it is what I it th is. Yeah, I think that too. I, I, man, I get look, it. Let me tell you like this. I got all new music, but one thing about it is if I go in front of any Dallas stage right now and I sing that song, Rolling Off X Acapella, they're going to sing along with me. Mm -hmm. I'll show y'all footage when we get done where people sing it word for word, so it's like, it's almost like um, even though you know something ain't, ain't good, but at that particular point in your life, you know, it was, it was that's, what you, that's where you was at. I just have to, I keep performing it, man. It's like one of my hits, man. <laughs> I just don't do it. I, I'm going to be real with you. When I quit popping them, People would still come up to me in the club, like, bro, you rolling? I'd be like, oh, yeah, I'm rolling right now. <laughs> but in my head, I'm like, man, I'm on this water. <laughs> this energy, man, Let me you know? ask you this. Uh, how do you remember all the words to them songs? Like, success, walking like a dog, Maserati, Chevy's in pop. How do you remember that? Um, probably because. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, for a person like me who don't do it. I perform, to be honest with you, unlike most artists, I perform so much. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. even like right now, my whole weekend's till July 10th for booked up. Yeah, I know. Uh, what you you doing something this weekend? I was gonna talk yeah. about that. And that's because I perform so much. You yeah, know, I just I don't even listen to my music in the car. Really? Hell no. Nah. I listen to R&B. <laughs> I listen to Joe to see me. Because you know like, you gotta perform. Yeah, it. I don't even want to hear. I don't even like rap music no more, man. I, 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 get, I get it, man. I like, I like being. I like listening to R. Kelly, man. You know. Yeah, what yeah, 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 yeah. That's the vibe I'm on when I'm yeah, in the car. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. You just trying to. Yeah, you rocking it, with it like I'm that. Play it, man. You had, yeah. I think was was the dude from Marshall. I think was on your song. The, the TC. One, TC. He's from North Tyler. I was gonna let yeah, him. Uh, yeah, I, I told him because he supposed to been coming on the show, but I say he had to come. I wanted him to come with you. Yeah, that's that's my little baby, man. You know, um, so when he so when I invite him back, you gonna come back I'll with come him? Back. That's my that, so was, that really, was he was really my first artist. Okay, he was really my first artist, but I just didn't have the tools at the time. You know, okay, I had him. I had uh, Trey Ward. Y'all familiar with Trey Ward? I had no, Trey, no, no. Trey Ward's R and B artist out of Dallas. I had him. Um, man, it just they were just my 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 first time actually trying to help somebody else. It didn't really work out because I think I just think like I said I didn't have the tools for him at the time. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you have any artists right now? Yeah, I got an artist uh, out of Fort Worth uh, named Feeling Rich. I'm, I'm I'm quietly putting him together right now. Okay. okay. I'm gonna let the cat out the bag. He's my first artist that I'm working with right That's now. That's what's up. You know, if you ever need to, you can bring him through. And I got to, man. He, it's up to you. You he, just let me he know. A whole He's an R&P rapper. He a rapper. He on yeah. some, some Mackin. You know, he yeah, on yeah, some, yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. on some Too Short. That's you know, what's like up, man. Who is he? 
He's, he's old enough. Oh, okay. old enough. He's, he's I don't want let the, I, don't, I want him to be able to introduce yeah, himself. That's right. I bring him up I get here, it. but Phil oh, okay. Rich man got his own okay. clothing line and everything. Oh, man. cool. Yeah, I don't call him an entrepreneurial hustler. Well, we here to stay, man. You know, we here yeah. for y'all, man. Definitely, you know, that's man. this this platform. Yeah. I don't know if you was watching it before, yeah, man. For sure, like I've been, I've been bu- I, 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 was, I was, oh, I like, damn. I said, well, I say, should Ben had me on the show, but you know, you know, everything, everything's about God. God has His own timing for everything, man. You know, we it's not in our time. You know, I already knew. I, 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 like the foundation can't be built without y'all. Right. I you know, you, that. Lil Ronnie, um, even Half Pint, uh, uh, Chun Cotton, the people right. who really, you know, even Yellow Bees, I ain't gonna lie. All yeah. them dudes, man, uh, even Trap, you know, it would have yeah. been Mo 3. Any, all right. y'all really, y'all Dallas, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh, 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 man, we just said his name. Uh, your boy who just acknowledged you the other night, T Cash? No. Rainwater? No, the one that's acknowledged you at the listening party with Mr. Lucci. Oh, oh, oh. And Mr. Lucci was just Cotton here, too. Mouth. Yeah, Cotton Mouth. Yeah, yeah. You know, all of these people make up Dallas, man. Right. Mr. Pookie, you know, yeah, all everybody, of these. Everybody plays a role it, yeah. in, in, in the opportunities that we have because, truth be told, the only reason a lot of this nonsense. Yeah, 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 even DeRoe, and that's yeah. somebody who gets skipped over. People act like he didn't go platinum, you know? Oh, what I mean? man, I cut for it, man. a lot of people in Dallas is. Do listen, man. Platinum. I'm going to say this about DeRoe, man. When I called Don Chief, but when I called. When I called uh, DeRoe, when I reached out to him, man, it was yeah. so solid, man. Right. It's certain one like you. It's yeah. solid. When I tell these, little Ronnie, yeah. when I tell these stories of how they just mm. show me love, man, they don't have to come over here. But at the end of the day, it's like, man, you doing this for the city. You doing right. it for the culture. We love the way you're set up here. We want to be a part of that. Right. Push a man, you know, uh, uh, all the top off artists. Right. It's just something about when you get that love. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You guys are the reason why why right. why this here can work. You know what I mean? And what it boils down to is we all need each other, whether we admit it or not. Yeah, exactly. Because you got a platform, I got a platform. And, and we put it together, man. Your fans be my fans and vice yeah. versa. Yeah. But, and working together, uh, we can only be stronger compared to when you fight against each other. It's not right. going to It's not gonna work. Right. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, man. I just, I, you know, um, I got another question. Top three artists of all time. You know, I already know who number one is. Dead Stop, or playing. Alive. Stop playing. Uh, 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 Stop uh, uh, playing. Stop uh, playing. Uh, uh, don't say that. Don't say that. Dead <laughs> or alive. Any genre. Any Remember, genre. he don't really like it. No matter. Much. Stop I'm playing. A, you know what? Stop I do R&B playing. Too. I do R&B too. <laughs> okay. no, we just want okay. one. We just want one. You can do. Uh, I one. just need three. Uh, hold on. Hold on. When you get we in your car. We do this every time. I don't want to hear that. Don't try to get pushing. I got that. No, no, no. The wife says it's a Top three. No, top three artists of all time. Artists. Period. Period. Any genre. Anybody. Hey, that's enough. What is all this extra emphasis? R. R. Kelly gonna be my number one. Okay. Are you serious? Okay. I'm okay. serious, man. I love R. Kelly. Ah! R. Kelly's R. number one. R. R. number one. Pimp C be my number two. Pimp C number two. Okay. I can respect that though because I know what Damn. R. Kelly brings to the table. Man. I gotta pick one. Can it yeah. be number no, three? Just, yeah. one. just one. Everybody have a hard time with number three. Yeah, because um, they be like, I don't want to ask this one. I can do this one. I don't. Hey, man, one more, man. I'm gonna go on ride. I might have to ride with Pac on this one. Okay, okay, shout out Pac. I might have to ride with Pac on this okay, one. Okay, so he, that boy said R. Oh, Kelly. Fat yeah. Pimp said R. Oh, Kelly. Yeah. That boy MC, said Pimp C. And and Pac. Pac. That's a and good Pac. three. And you know That's why? That's a good three. Because if somebody trapped me on an island with just their music, I'd be Ooh, straight. Wee, yeah. You gonna be, be straight. straight. I'd be straight because look, R. Kelly gonna calm me down. Yeah. And turn me up if I need yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You know, Pac gonna give it to you, you know? And uh, PMC gonna make me always remember Texas. Wow, so man. So I got a, I got a balance, man. Man. So I got like the perfect triangle, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, uh, Fat Pimp, mm. you know, if you Damn, was... I wanted to say somebody. Nah, nah, no, nah, no, nah. No, no, we passed it, it We got it, we got it. That's Fat it. Pimp, if you was, uh, you know, if, you, if, if the... If the 16 year old yeah. was sitting next to you, you right. at 16 years old, what, what, and you knew what you were headed for, what would you say to him to try to help him along his path? Wow. I would probably tell him it's okay to go hard in school. Okay. It's okay to, uh, to do what the white boys doing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would tell him you don't got to be in the more clear streets trying to be something you ain't. Yeah, yeah. That's just the realest I'm gonna put it. Right? Mm-hmm. I yeah. really was. I love that. I was. Um, I really was doing stuff I ain't really had no business doing. Yeah. I got a mom and a daddy. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. I was one of them kids fortunate uh, enough to have a daddy. You know, a lot of kids growing up, they would do things. They don't have that that uh, safe net to know that somebody will burn them out of jail. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I had a daddy. I knew like if I got in trouble, I was like man, he gonna leave me in jail too long. So um, 
I would just tell him, like, it's cool to do the opposite. Mm -hmm. It's cool to go the right path, man, because I really wish I would have went to school for, like, IT. Okay. I played baseball at Duncanville, man. One okay. Of, one of, like, the first black kids on varsity. You yeah, know yeah, what I'm yeah. That's, that's popping. You got your Letterman jacket and all that? Yeah, I had it, but I got put off the team. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I, was, I, I really was out here trying to, like, just... Be in chase, the streets. Chase some streets, man. Mm -hmm. Duncanville, um, them white boys got a different way of doing things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Coach told me. Y'all one more time uh, wow. for your name to be. I had went to alternative school for, during football season. Okay. Coach said, got one more time. <laughs> and he was not playing. I remember I ran out on the field late. He, he stopped practice, came and grabbed me by my jersey, and threw me off the field and told me don't come back. Mm. Now, he wanted me to come back, but I think he wanted me to like beg him, beg him to come yeah, back. But I, my pride that. was too mm -hmm. was too much. Yeah. And then it was a wrap. It was you, a wrap. I didn't care nothing else about school. It was Because like, he know if you begged him to come back, that you would that mean that you would have put everything down I wasn't doing that, and I was rapping. The reason why I was late wasn't because I was in, wasn't because I did nothing bad. I just was late because I was freestyling at a battle, battle after school. I was like, nah, I got, I got to get this nigga. You know what I mean? That's just how I was. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, got to yeah. get him. But you, that's that. That was your man. You, you, you've influenced so many. You, you knew, you know, God had had a plan for your life, man. He and, saved and you me, couldn't man. get a, you couldn't get around it. He you saved know? me, man. I've yeah. Been, I went to, man, I went to jail. For, you know what I'm saying? Like just stupid stuff, man. Just all kind of charges. And then when you're in that courtroom. You ain't fat pimped to them. That's right. Tell me about just it. Just another nigga. You just another nigga. You know what I mean? And um, it was a reality check. Wow. Because when I got in there, that prosecutor, man, he had pictures of me on, yeah. the, on the screen. Yeah. He said he's a, he's, a, he's a gang member. Yeah. He said, look at this picture. Gang sign, gang sign. Yeah, yeah. My lawyer's like, man, take that, you know, take yeah, that down. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the image is already permissible. painted. It's already painted to the jury. Now. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, man, by the grace of God, man, you know, my case got dismissed, man. It was just like. That was that was it for me. It was I a wake-up call. I said, never again. Wow. Never again. Man. I ain't been in no trouble ever since. Ain't that something? It won't be. And <laughs> use your be. testimony to help others because there's so many people out there who are chasing the streets. I tell all these youngsters, bro, stop posting all that money. Yeah, yeah. And guns. I hate it. Man, every everybody nowadays to post their guns when they go to court. Man. In the Fed case, man. Yeah. And that's the thing I can't understand. I'm like, you know this. You know that the feds and everybody's watching your social media. Why are you putting... All this money, all this. I see people putting weed, pills, all, all that stuff on social media. And you know I'm why? like. You want to know the real reason why? Yeah. Because people don't people don't realize it's okay to just be yourself. Wow. You dig what I'm saying? It's like if I'm watching this person do it and he's getting famous, then I could do it too. He mm -hmm. do it. Now, if you got 10 or 20 of them doing it, there's 10, 20 more in another city doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a cool thing. That's because a lot of these people ain't, uh, ain't face fed cases. They don't have people around them fighting murder charges. And mm -hmm. When you're in the courtroom, they bringing up all this stuff that they've been doing on the internet. They don't see that. They yeah. don't think that's a reality. Well, like I said, uh, I think that you become a you you're you're a witness for yeah. you you're a way out for people, and you you are you know like yeah. the, I think God let you go through those cases so that mm -hmm. you could help these other youngsters because they look up to Did you. Did you grow up in church? Uh, Man, I, I feel like we are the church. So I, it's a whole different vibe for me. For me, I grew up in, in a Baptist church. Okay. And I remember before the uh, pastor would even get up there, they would have a testimony time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And people always used to come up there giving their testimony. And so that's how I am when I talk to people. I give them my that's testimony. That's good. That's good. I tell them the bad. Yeah. I tell them the bad because when I tell you the good, I want you to understand why I moved the way I do. Okay. I'm not in here with no entourage. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't... Uh, I don't go, I, when I go out of town, I got my security, my one security guy, my DJ and whoever else is with mm -hmm. me, that's it. Because I don't believe in having entourage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know what happens when you're on the road with a right. lot of people. Yeah, yeah. All these artists nowadays, just watch them. They all, one by one, they go You can't arrested. control all these people that are with you. Mm -hmm. And if I got somebody three people gonna be with me, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you, but, you, had to, it. but you had to <laughs> learn that, though. Yeah. You know, so you got to yeah. keep, like I said, once again, build yeah. that bridge, not that wall to help yeah. these youngsters. That God still got you here for a reason. You just right. told me all these things that you went through. Right. It was for a reason. So that you could be able to lead other people that's out. That's why I talk about it. A lot of people, yeah. they shut down. They don't want to speak on it. I've, I tell people I to speak about it and put it out on social media. Speak about it on live, on everything, because people are putting bad stuff out there right. on social media, and it's getting out here to the masses a lot quicker. Right. Yes, when you meet one person face to face, you can tell them, but right. here we have a platform that people are using somewhat for evil. So why right. not us turn it to good, to good as well? To good. You know what I mean? To yeah. fight to, to combat that evil that's on social platforms. Wow. You, you know the only thing I hate. That Dallas does a lot of older artists. They don't reach out to these youngsters and give them that advice. That's what I'm talking about. And even like somebody like the row, I love the row to death. But I, one thing I didn't like, I told them before, like you have to be not accessible, bro. But people want to know what you went through. Yeah. And if people knew like the, the the BS that he went through, 
they wouldn't make them same mistakes. Correct. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Me and Yellow Beezy got a, a real great relationship. I tell them whatever I went through. Uh, when I meet these youngsters, I tell them, hey, man, this is what I went through. Yeah. Big bro, I got a deal on the table. What should I do? It's like, get your lawyer. Get you your own lawyer. Not your manager's lawyer. Not the record exactly. label's lawyer. I tell them. Look. We need more artists Let me, to, like, speak to these youngsters. Not on internet, but just how we have them, like, sit down mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. This is what you need. Well, I think I think the one thing I would say about the road just – you still you still got a relationship with him yeah you know and you still can it, it, it's still opportunity i like the fact and i was telling somebody this earlier today that the process is still in play mm. you see what i'm saying like it ain't yeah. it's still a we, we still can make things happen if we still yeah. here on this earth yeah. right right so 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 never close the door i don't like the council culture thing when you're a leader like yourself he can't i don't believe you see council, what i'm saying i don't believe in council culture. Yeah. i think people are entitled to put their foot in their mouth yeah that's me i feel like at the end of the day the way i felt 15 years ago i wouldn't use the f word i mean this like i probably used the f word 15 years ago 10 years ago even five years ago but now i don't use that word because it offends uh, that group of people. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I don't have any gay friends or anything, but I know a lot of gay people nowadays that are my fans. Yeah, 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 and, yeah. And, and if that word uh, disrespects them, I don't say it. Yeah, let me ask you this about Jay Prince. You say that you had to talk with him one yeah, time. Really? I've seen that. Yeah. And and um um what what uh I'm not gonna ask you what it was about, but I am gonna say, you know, what do you when you think of Jay Prince, what do you think? Respect. Like the books say. Yeah, respect. Let me explain <laughs> something to you, man. He looked at everybody in that room and said, I will not stand here while y'all uh, treat this black man like this. He said, wow. he did what he was supposed to do. Now y'all need to honor that and do what y'all supposed to do. And that's how Jay Prince, he's about principles. If he says you owe him a dollar fifty, he don't want a dollar fifty six. He don't want one dollar and thirty cents. He want a dollar and fifty cents. Wow. And everybody involved is going to get what's owed to him. That is one of the realest men I've ever met in my life. Wow, that's it, it. It blows my mind that you even have a relationship yeah. with him like that. I wish it was even more strong. I wish I could yeah. talk to him about like business outside. Why not? Him. Why not? Um, I think I've been intimidated to reach out to him. You got to do it. Yeah, Listen, I man, you got. Yeah, don't man. don't. It, 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 he can only say no. Right. He's just a man, just like me and you. Right. And that's something real. I and you and, and 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 you have something that I don't have. You right. have a relationship with him. Right. So if it's something you need to ask him, man up. That's because you you fat pimp yeah. man you put a you I'm not saying it in no no uh, egotistic way I'm just saying right. you you done a lot man you appreciate know what I'm saying that. and you you don't sell yourself short I appreciate that you know what I'm saying for sure for sure because you 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 wanted the patriarchs to me man, and, no, you. and the only thing you can hear is no and when you if and if you get no don't take it in a bad way or no. anything like that always turn it around because people are always scared of rejection and everything that they do. Thick you skin. Do. That's thick right. Skin. I don't bore none of that. Yeah, but anything you, you think about, you need to act on. You need to, as long as it's positive. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? You need to act on it because we all do it. I'm a procrastinator. I'm the biggest procrastinator. I think of things and then later on, I don't do it and I'm like, nah, I should have done it. You don't want to live your life. I'm getting better the older I get because you're like, you know what? Just do yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So how was it working with Zero on that song? <laughs> Ro, man. I got to <laughs> say, man, I've been wanting to ro work with Ro for, for, for a minute, man, but, um, now, be honest it just it just it wasn't the right time okay he in a different space now you yeah know, we got the same manager you know out of, okay. out of houston okay. yeah we got the same manager out of houston you know my manager made it happen i actually got three records with him one is really? out now two that's gonna come out okay solo okay because the record we got out now it's a group it's me it's me and another artist out of houston named tim ned okay we got a group called the art of ratchet okay and uh we got this new single featuring zero Okay, that's that's what's, yeah, what's yeah, up. Lit, I had to ask, man. You know, I just Bro, cool, man. I know, but I just know you, man. You you don't know, man. You a light yeah. in the in the we in the tunnel of darkness. Me, me and Ro, did you hear what I just said? I hear you. You don't hear me, yeah, man. man. Nah, you know man, what I'm saying? Like you're, you're a light in the tunnel of darkness, man. Yeah. And a lot of times you can make people to where they can change, man. I know yeah. that. Just your spirit. Yeah, Ro is a good people, man. He um even when I, my girl was pregnant, man, he sent me like positive words. Man. Oh yeah. That that I'm gonna be honest. With you. I made the post, and he sent like some positive words. Everybody was like, "Man, you know zero." I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I don't know, man. Like, but to everybody else, it's like, I guess you know, it's 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 a big deal, you know. I, I look still at him, Texas, I look at him like a, like a big brother, man. You hear what I said? Still Texas, Texas, zero, Texas, man. <laughs> hey, Sauce Walker, Texas, man. Listen, man, it's yeah. a lot of us, bro. And at the end of the day, I'm loving it. Yeah, you know, Pimp C me. looking down, he and he know y'all boys, you know, knocking those down. I, I made that post one day. Um, 
on a caption. I said, man, I hope PMC proud of me. That's it. And Ro was like, he is, bro. That, you see what I'm saying? And that 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 mean the world because I didn't mention Ro in my top three. Yeah, but he's in my he's one of my he's favorite. one of, yeah top he's one five, of your favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Because I feel him. But yeah. to, to have that co-sign from him telling me like, yeah, PMC yeah, proud yeah. of you. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh. That's love, man. <laughs> yeah. Say, man. So, I mean, we thank you, man. We appreciate you for sure. coming on the show, man. Definitely, definitely, and, man. And, and, <clears throat> and I can tell you right now, man, it won't be your last time, right? Nah, nah. I do like our setup. We ain't man, even asking because we just fought, what, five months in the game. It look good, So, yeah, man. how you like it when it you bust good, up in there? You like, man. Mike, the mics is on point. The sounds <laughs> good. The cam I'm looking around. It's a lot of cameras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, we got to keep man. it real. Hey, we want to yeah. see you, baby. They got the backdrop, everything, man. It looks good in here. It man. feels good in here. You man. home, man. This I did this for y'all. I think, yeah, man. yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. We we need platforms like this in Dallas. Man, man. we shouldn't have to go to Atlanta. For no, this. no, no. We got them. You know I'm saying this is right here, man. I, I think we, I think Lord say the same. We're gonna be here, man. Trying to make sure that we we bring out the positive vibes, right. man. Yeah. We 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 bring out the projects when you guys get, come out the projects. Y'all gotta get rainwater in here too, man. Man, you gotta talk to him. I'm gonna talk to him, man. I'm gonna be real. This is what's crazy about me. Everybody be having issues with everybody. I'm like yeah. one of the only people who's like neutral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't get nobody's business, dog. Man, you know, I just want to help somebody. Yeah. That's the, and that's why I yeah. think that's why we here. And we even talked about trying to bring the city together. Yeah, so we anybody always do. Who is, you know, into it with, with each other? Mm -hmm. Yes, we would love to bring them together, but there's a time mm -hmm. for it. It's Dallas. You say they always yeah, gonna you, be that. You can cancel. You can cancel. Yeah, Christmas. but the thing is, we you know the thing you got. We might not bring them together, but just a positive move for positive. a moment. Listen, come on, fat listen, pimp. The you, me, just a little bit. He's can, like, nah, can, nah, some, it ain't gonna some, work. Some some people can have conversations. Some people just it is what it is. Yeah, that's just life, man. It's no different than family members. Some family members you can have that conversation. Y'all can mend your relationship. Some you just gotta nip it in the bud. Yeah. See me, I'm I'm old school, so I got a problem with you. Either we gonna see each other, we gonna fight, or I'm gonna call your partner. You can call my partner. Mm -hmm. We gonna go somebody back yard. We gonna punch. Yeah. That's how I want to see things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a partner in Duncanville. He got to think a whole lot of wood shit. Yeah. And where they fight once a month, gloves on. You know what I'm saying? Ambulance that's out the there. best way. They even, I think they got something on Juneteenth if I'm not mistaken. Hey. Yeah. Shout the whole lot of wood shit, man. They they fight. They put that's the gloves good. on. They, they got people in the city. They train like all month. Yeah. And they get, get it them. on. I be saying like, damn. What if we can get resolve rappers, a lot of lot of lot of issues. street issues? Resolve a lot of yeah, issues. Old school yeah, way. Old school way. If it ain't yeah. never got to the that point is. where nobody's shooting it out yet, exactly. I'm like, bro, let's put these gloves on mm -hmm. and let's fight. That's how the coaches used to do. No, no, no. Day. That's the real man. Like that's old school, man. That ain't nothing new. That's some old school. I could FaceTime my daddy right now. I say, what happened last time somebody called my house and said they had an issue with me? He gonna tell it. He pulled up on him like, where you at? Where he said, where you stay at? All right, come on and go. Knock on the door. Hey, your son got an issue. Like my son, you want to get his paper? Like, touch on. it. Yeah, let's go in the backyard. And then nobody ever know we fought. I'm from that era. We, this right here need to be like this. Yeah. If certain people would just punch on each other, mm -hmm. and when you get done, they be like, "I mean, you ain't record. I ain't record." Nobody got to ever know what happened. Already, man. There's That's two rappers in the industry right now that had a big major beef. They had to. They had to get. They had to get their papers. Wow. Mm. Yeah, I ain't got to say it. People that know that, that's from Texas, they know who they are, man. They had to get their papers, man. Wow. But yeah, nowadays, man. it's so, it's such a thing where, and I'm older, so, you know, yeah. I could be driving down the street and I see, like, a wreck or something happen. Right. I'm not that quick or I'm not even thinking about picking up my phone and trying to record. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. everybody nowadays, the first thing they're doing is recording every single thing. thing. These right. younger kids, I mean, the... Everything is up. That's why some love, love bless the dead. That's why when I see dead bodies on on internet, it irks my nerves. Yeah, yeah. Like what happened to the like the privacy of, of for the kids and the family? You know what I mean? Like yeah. if I see somebody get shot right in front of me, man, I'm gonna hop out and make see if there's anything I can do. Mm. Yeah. I know not to move them. You know what I'm saying when they get shot, but just at least call the police. I mean the ambulance, not the laws, but the ambulance. And be like, hey, what can I do to like so I prop them up or something? Because what if you say that person like good? You dig what I'm saying? You good. I done I I've done a lot, but I've had a lot of good white folks uh, help me help out. You out. Yeah, yeah. I done had bad wrecks and everything. Yeah. White folks. First thing white people do is get Try out the car. You. Hey, sir, right, you okay? Right, you breathing right, okay? Yeah. Right. It be niggas. We the yeah. only ones. Yeah, but the thing I gotta but say, wait, let me say this. Go ahead. Um, Fat pimp. Again, you are light in the midst of some darkness. You right. know. So I just I gotta keep saying it. I just gotta keep saying. Um, all the different things, the rappers, everybody, you know, you the type of person that 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 you you can make a difference. Man. I'm gonna continue to say that the because matter. at the end of the day, that's what we need. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what this about. I'm right. being real. It gotta be somebody like you and I yeah. that say, Yeah, they messed up, but 
maybe we can move an inch. You know what I'm saying? The mayor of Dallas, man. I Already. Keep trying to tell you, man, I like, like it, man. Listen. I, I like it. I, I see this going in a whole different direction. Yeah. I know God going to use me. That's it. You dig what I'm that's saying? That's it. I know how to relate to you. I don't care what neighborhood you from. I can relate to you. I can to relate you. to you. you that's what, what I'm That's what I'm loving. I done been in like, I done been in a lot of neighborhoods I ain't from. Probably wasn't even welcome. But I left up out of there walking. Hey, man. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. So that's why, like, even when we were talking about country towns, bro, I, yeah, know, yeah, I, yeah. Know, I know how to operate, man. Yeah. I give everybody. That's another reason yeah. I got to get Rainwater on here when he made that statement. I got to talk to him. <laughs> Not in a bad bro. way, just in a way, in a way to where we can, we, right. we can you know, we talk can about something about out. about positive, you know, because, yeah. cause, you know, for a fact, you know, Mo3 was loving it down there. Yeah. I just posted some yesterday mm -hmm. where where he was in the in the country. One right. of my partners, you know, he brought him in. You know, it's just love down there, man, for us, for y'all. That Dallas, and like you said, it, it's a love for Dallas and Houston. And now they finding their own a little bit to where they having their own sound. Like you said, something that was very prevalent at the first of the show where you saying, you know, everybody sound. They can, you know, you, you could be wherever you from and sound yeah. however you want to. Right. And I agree with that because now the Internet is busted wide open. Somebody, a youngster called me a hater on the internet because I said, Oh, yeah? Because I said, Man, I, said, I don't know where nobody from no more. <laughs> I remember back in the day, somebody rap, oh, they from New York. Yeah, 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 they definitely. From mm -hmm. Louisiana, they from California, they even from Jamaica, you know? Yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Now people be like, You see, they bio, they might be from Jamaica and they sound like they from Texas. There you, you know? go. You mm -hmm. just don't know. You don't man. know. But I had to realize it comes with the times. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. yeah. Everything's These changing. These internet babies. Now you but had I something you a, wanted yeah, to ask. Yeah, I have a yeah. statement and I have so a question. Be it. Yeah. Um, my statement is even when I go back to the phones, the phones just like your name, Fat Pimp or right. Pimp, has its pros and cons because right. if it wasn't for some of the younger ones or people holding up their phones quickly, we wouldn't have seen some of the injustice with police department and police, you know, brutality and just different things with right. them picking up their phones so quick. Right, right. That wouldn't have be become social media, you know. Before it even get on the news, we will see everything. Mm -hmm. Everybody has their own opinion on, opinion on that, and I usually agree, but I think that phone have made it worse. I done been pulled over, and when I get pulled over, only thing on my mind is going home. I got, I'm not pulling out my phone. I'm not pissing this this, this white man off. And, and a lot of people, that's why I get into arguments though, because I say, look, now people get pulled over. Why'd you pull me over for? What'd you pull me over for? Why you? I, I'm not getting out the car. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Let this, let this cracker do what he's doing so I can go home. You dig what I'm saying? I yeah, feel like the phone, right, right. Yeah, the phone the phone showed us what they're doing, but it still didn't change nothing. Yeah, yeah. You dig what I'm mm -hmm. saying? We still fighting what we've been fighting for years. It's still the same thing going on. Yeah. Even after the George Floyd verdict, they still kill somebody the next day. Wow. And the next day. Wow. And the next week. Mm-hmm. Then when we say something about it, they, they, they tell us quit complaining. Yeah. They act like slavery didn't exist. Yeah. So that's for me. It's just like we just we're so effed up. We, I just realize I feel like I'll be happy one day when God come back and say, you know what, blacks, y'all been my chosen people. You know, y'all curse is over with. Wow. But if wow. it wasn't for the phones, that's what it is, I like man. it. But if it wasn't for the phones, George Floyd, um, the police officers wouldn't have been sentenced at all. They would yeah. it would have been swept under the rug. I agree. So, so it's, in it's, that case, at yeah. least even if you get You're some right. and not all of all of them, right. it's making it's bringing awareness. You're so right. like although the law, yeah. awareness, yeah. although the law might not change right yeah. now, right. slowly but surely you see some things are Same. changing, and like it's that. not gonna change overnight because this is time. a big topic. This right. is really crucial. So, as much as we would love for it to happen, why we're protesting, why this is happening, we want right. to see it happen now. It might not right. even happen in our generation. Yeah, yeah. but think. change will come eventually. You see what I mean? Change gonna come. <laughs> so, but my no, question man, that, was a, like that was, that was, that was a statement. So, my question now is you want to be mayor, right? Being mayor, what changes are you going to bring for me? Yes, this is your campaign right now. What you going to do? Put, put what Craig you gonna Watts, do? Watkins back, back in, D, in the DA. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm going for our youngsters. I'm going all youngsters, man. I'm going for our youngsters. I want the new. I don't know. I don't know what it is after millennials. Whatever this new school is, I want those thinkers. Okay. I want. I, first of all, I'm one of the people. I like to ask people, like, how do you feel right now? Mm -hmm. Because the reality of, of of a ten year old now ain't the reality of what it was for me. Mm -hmm. I got a ten year old at home. Mm -hmm. He don't see. He don't really see uh, things the way you did nah, back he then. Don't. Yeah, yeah. I know. I learn. I learn from these kids. Mm -hmm. Like coaching football, mm -hmm. you hear how they talk. You get to learn. So I'm gonna be one of the people. I'm gonna ask these kids what's going on. Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna go to these neighborhoods in Dallas and I'm gonna ask them what's the real problem. Mm -hmm. I don't live over here in mm -hmm. this poverty. You know what I'm saying? I want to know what's going on. 
I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna execute. And if I say I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Or at least I'm gonna raise hell trying to do it. Wow. I'm gonna make sure like the, the po- police idea. police gotta have police gotta have real training with me. Mm-hmm. You dig what I'm saying? Black ones too. Wow. They, they, they horrible too. You dig what Definitely. I'm saying? Definitely. Mm-hmm. Black cops are horrible too. Yeah, but, they live by the blue coat. Yeah. But then I'm also teach the neighborhood. Y'all got to start policing ourselves too. That's it. That's the key. Because we, we, if we start policing ourselves, it'll, it'll prevent a lot of these uh, mm-hmm. incidents going on too. Not all of them, but some but of them. But some of them. We can kind of isolate them. We can be like, hey man, if y'all know this person over here raping these little girls, y'all mm-hmm. need to go handle it. Mm-hmm. 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 Let us know so we can deal man. with that. And I, I'm real big on, on, on integrity, man, respect. Wow. But in that case, in certain areas, you would have to go in there and create a, a mini committee. Got to. You know what? In each area. Like it used to be. For men, yeah. like a yeah, men committee and a woman like committee. The woman deal with the woman. Right. And the men deal with the men. They said Dallas back in the day. I'm too young for that. But they said back in the, back in the day, Dallas was real tight knit. Everybody knew what was going on. And if something like that was going on, it got dealt with. Yeah, yeah, quickly. We, we need mm-hmm. that. We don't have that no more. Well, we like let's say when you make mayor, we gonna make those I'm changes. Serious. Look, I'm so serious, man. Yeah. I've been really doing my research to figure out how I can make it happen. What hey. year will that? Ha- what year are you trying to go for? I don't know yet. I don't want to announce <laughs> yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I joke about I, it on the internet all the time, though. I gotta uh, ask you, uh, like, how can people get a hold of you? I am Fat Pimp on our social media. Uh, right now, you can get on iTunes, type in the Art of Ratchet. We got a single out called Texas. We just hit a hundred thousand streams. Okay. Uh, we on tour right now. Where they show at this weekend? Uh, this weekend, I got Mystical on Saturday. Following week, I'm back on tour with Lil Dirk and Pooh yeah. Uh The following week, I'm on tour with Snoop. Me, Slim Thug, and Zero on tour with Snoop. Oh, Man. that's cool. That's yeah, going to be yeah, a good yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fat Pimp, when them boys come to town, you get them over here to Boss Talk one on one. Stop I, playing, I, man. I got you. I'm Stop my, playing. I'm you know we ready. Jet, we ready man. for them, man. I'm work my jet. If I get Snoop over here, like it's, it's a wrap. <laughs> Are y'all going to be performing up. here in Dallas? Hey, Dallas is the stop. We actually got um everywhere but Dallas. We got like oh, we got like all It don't matter. Tell him, tell him we'll, we'll bring we him in. Come through Dallas, we'll bring him Oklahoma. in. Oklahoma. Yeah, tell him we'll and bring um, him in. No matter what time of the night, you can yeah. call. Yeah. We, we gonna, gonna turn this thing, thing up. Show, yeah, sure. we'll turn this thing on, man. For sure, man. Real I'm, talk. I swear to God, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna talk to my manager about how we can make it happen. Man, now. anytime you can. Oh, you can pull up. Ah, I, I want this scene. You want the scene, man? Yeah, okay. because I'm trying to do it to where when people come to Dallas, they gotta come think here. about it. They right. they have somewhere to come because yeah. we got somewhere. You For know, sure. oh, when you know you can come anytime because we sure. hustlers mean like what? We, we what? Hustlers, man. say it, girl. We got it, but you can call <laughs> us at that. you can call us at one o'clock in the morning and Whenever. say, okay, we'll be Whenever. there in thirty minutes. Yeah. We gonna be there in thirty yeah. minutes. We will be here. I'm gonna definitely do that, man. I'm gonna keep being man of my word. I'm and gonna definitely get my make sure you bring your artists and, yeah. and whatever you want, man. You yeah. pick up the phone. You got me. You I got you. You hit so, me. It's going down, man. Thank you so much, too, man. If he can come, like yeah. I say, I, I'd yeah. love to have him because yeah. you see the energy. Yeah, energy so lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really, for me, man, I just want to give everybody a platform, man. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna start. Name dropping because people yeah. come here, man. Yellow too, man. yellow. Yeah, yeah. Not just them, man. There's a lot of new artists. Listen, man, I'm not too, tripping. Man. Long yeah. as it's something that's genuine that yeah. they trying, they really serious about their craft, yeah. and 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 you you co-signing because you know what you yeah. went through to get where you at. Right, right. I know it's real. I right. ain't tripping on you. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Thank you so much and for coming on the show. Hold on. One thing you want to know about our platform too. We don't just do artists. Yeah, we do mental we illness. We do everything from yeah. mental illness yeah. to yes, yeah, to, we do uh, everything. To, to lawyers, yeah. fitness, we get any, any ministers topic. On, on Sundays I drop minister segments. Right. Yeah. So I don't yeah. want you to feel like it's only artists. If anybody with, like have mental health issues, let me know, man. We're doing something like for suicide, suicide prevention for and real? stuff. Mm-hmm. And I think it's in September when we're gonna do it, if I'm not mistaken. That's what's up. That I gotta deal with my manager. Yeah, we we trying to put something together. I've been quiet about it, but I got a lot of people, man, that uh that passed away from that. You know what I mean? Say, man. That's something and we I ain't have no a lady, did, bro. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And we have a lady um supposed to come on for gun violence. Her son yeah. was killed. Yeah. Oh, wow. So yeah. we're doing stuff like that, too. Okay. You know, so just for remember, sure. keep that in mind. Anybody that's going through it, yeah. we're going through it with them. Amen. Say, man, thank you so much for coming Appreciate on the show. Man. Hey, sure. we had Fat Pimp today, man. Yeah. We did it, man. Holla at your boy. It's a unique hustle. And we out.